Hi everyone, me and Bailey are back for episode two of Batman The Enemy Within. Um, I realized that last video I didn't tell you guys my name. Heather, my name is Heather. Okay, now let's get into it. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really fun. Um, yeah, so let's do it. Okay, we're on episode two, The Pact. I'm not reading it. I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> I just like to go straight in. I really need caffeine today. Mm. Oh. Monster energy drink. Are we going to get a previous meal? from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. Good. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. Mm. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on That's both right. sides of the line. She knows. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce. <laughs> oh my god. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. Mm. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. see I have your attention. Good. We have a lot to discuss. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, he can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be of great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Bruce Wayne is my cover. Mm. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out. It's all over. I hear you loud and clear. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Then go already. I'm going. <laughs> Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. It's taking a lot of 
Let's do this. So obviously Joker's working with him, with Riddler, yeah? Like, surely. Surely they're all in on it together. I guess we'll see. Got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness, and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. We'll keep running your mouth. Maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe. A really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. We'll jump from the bus. Well, but you fight alone, you will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. Got Riddler? Mm. You should be worried about that? yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Let's go. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. <laughs>
This pain you're feeling, Batman. Oh, I thought we were gonna get the back trained and equipped to deal with Bane's men and safely recover the weapons but Gordon is bound to feel betrayed fuck Gordon he's he's such a little bitch seriously fine Gordon I'll call you bitch come help that man that man what's wrong <laughs> we do have this this on we have history with Gordon too, you know, like with friends. Well, I thought we were friends. I feel so betrayed by Gordon. But he feels betrayed by me. But come on. <laughs> Batman! Say something if you can hear me. Oh, I'm here. Gordon Christ. Batman. <sighs> Come on, help me. It won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Even when I'm injured, Gordon, you can't do it without me. Come on! Even when you're trying to save me. It's moving. Don't be too harsh on the water. He's really upset me. Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Dude. He saved my life. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, man. It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, we've never seen Batman like this. Well, the entire GCPD arsenal raided? Every single armored personnel carrier stolen? With those and the hardware they stole? Christ, I don't want to think about it. I just want to know who these sons of bitches are. There's only one of them that matters. He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. They need to be found. I'm already taking orders from Waller. Well, I gotta take it from you, too? Oh my god. So that's how it is. I'm sorry, Jim. But the city will be in danger if you don't. Yeah, do your job. I'll uh, see what I can do. Why 
us? Whatever manpower we can spare on the search for those armored vehicles. In the field and watching CCTV feeds. It's so unreasonable, yes, sir. I feel. You know, I'm still mad as hell at you. Why? Interrogating that Riddler goon without my damn consent. Come on. I'm only trying... I only agreed to work with you because I thought you were a man of principle. I am. Someone who wanted to step out of the shadows and into the light. I don't know what's going on with you and Waller, but you've changed. No, I haven't. I'm exactly the same as I was in season one. It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry Joe. For what? Being like Waller? Uh No. For everything. I'm I regret saying that. Yeah, you've been under a lot of pressure. Even for you. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> oh I'm my glad gosh. you called me with this. Good to know this partnership still means something. To but me it does. I won't lie. We've still got a ways to go. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. Is it just me? Or is is Gordon being totally what unfair? What happened? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Bye, Jim. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without yeah, you. Yeah, I'm sorry about your partner. I'm sorry I wasn't able to rescue your partner. No. I know you did everything you could have to save Blake. I hope you know that too. I know you called Gordon because you have history, but this is exactly what the director and her resources are here for. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. If I put the city first, then Gordon will be mad at me. Gordon wants me to be his lapdog. Oh, for the, for I mean, the Amanda memory. does too, but you know. We're going to need it. I meant what I meant by we've never seen Batman like this before. I meant in the Telltale universe. I don't think. Bruce? <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. No. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if, if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. We already yeah. lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we, we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. Yeah. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to yeah. save you from that monstrosity. 
too many have died in too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Bane is running free out there. He's just getting started. That's what frightens me, Bruce. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Riddler was pretty bad. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Yeah. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. <clears throat> Got it? Uh, I'm good. Thanks. kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Mm -hmm. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. <sighs> Rating time. Gotham, Gotcorp Labs. The events of the Gotcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Guy. Um, yeah. Fucking, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Alright, um. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen, all witnesses dead. Gotham Brokerage. Gotham Brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mm. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. I mean, we smashed heads too. You heard the sound of those crunches before. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Mm. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Really? By herself? Maybe. Alright, we've already read this last time. Is there anything else? I never thought I'd see John's face again until he showed up at Lucius's funeral. Ev evidently, he listed me as his emergency contact when he was discharged from Arkham. Could he be stalking me? He wanted me to meet his new friends. I said no. I really don't want to make him think this friendship is going anywhere. Something good did come out of our conversation. John gave me a solid lead on Riddler's location that pointed me to an abandoned water tower in Gotham's East End. Could John Doe and Riddler really be connecting? connected? And if so, how? My time in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left an impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I will never forget his face or his laugh. He is like some kind of creepy circus clown. He gave me invaluable assistance in uncovering Vicky's true identity and her missing drug stash, but there's something about him so unsettling I couldn't bring myself to agree to granting him a favour. Yes, it would have been an empty promise, but the very idea of owing him anything is not a pleasant thought. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Uh, mm, Lucia's funeral didn't go well. Tiffany's naturally, Tiffany naturally had questions about her father's death, specifically if Riddler's contraption had anything to do with it. So I told her the truth. I owed her an honest explanation, but in this case, honesty was not the best policy. I feel like she would have found out anyway. I mean, that's just how it goes with these types of games. She blew up at me, threatening to dig deeper into what Lucius and I were doing. Maybe I should get in front of that. Come on. A promising young scientist, Tiffany is every bit as street smart as she is academically accomplished. She recently graduated first in her class in molecular engineering in hopes of following in her father's footsteps. Of course, she doesn't know what Lucius really does at Wayne Enterprises. Her father would have been reckless enough to share our secret with her. Sometimes I wonder if she ever suspected something. Not much gets past her. If there's one thing I know about Tiffany, it's that she's even more determined than she is brilliant. When she sets her mind to something, she accomplishes it. Agent Avesta thanked me for saving her life, but I can't take credit for that. Not when we lost so much because of my mistakes. She's still pretty shaken up from her close encounter with death and losing her partner, but she's braver than I thought. Not only did she face down Riddler's deathly traps, but she continues to plow ahead without rest. A level of determination I have rarely seen. She'll make an excellent ally going forward. I hope so. I think I read the rest of this. Yeah, I think I've read the rest, but, ugh. Moller confessed to knowing my true identity. This might, this is like his diary. <laughs> this might prove to be dangerous, especially if I choose not to, not to co cooperate with her. She warned me to share with her all information I uncovered. I didn't follow her up on instructions to keep her in the loop when I decided to call Gordon instead of her after the attack. I was vulnerable. I, I called my friend. Like, I didn't know how badly this may... I don't know how badly this may shake her confidence in me. Something I'd like to avoid, considering the leverage she could use against me. I mean, hopefully she understands like Avesta did, you know? Like, we have history. The Riddler ambushed agents Blake and Avesta at the docks, using them as bait for me in one of his sick games. Agent Blake pleaded for me to lose so the agent Avesta's life would be spared. I failed the Riddler's game and Agent Blake paid the price. His sacrifice saved his partner's life, just as he wanted. Yeah. I used Tiffany's drone and a decent bluff to scare Eli into cooperating. He gave up the Riddler's location, a boat called the Lady of Dublin. After I threatened to blow up the station to pry the truth out of Eli, I ruined my any chance of an alliance with the GCPD. Deceased. The Riddler ambushed Agent Investor and her team from the docks in an elaborate trap. He forced me into playing one of his games in exchange for their lives. In the end, I managed to outsmart him, but at, the, but at a heavy cost. Before we could bring him in for questioning, Riddler was mysteriously killed with a poison dart to the neck. All I have now are his cryptic last words. They broke the pact. But who are they and why did they want him dead? See, I'm so, like, I'm so jaded by movies and TV. Like, when they tell us someone's dead, you believe it only to discover they're not dead so i don't know like i'm just thinking you know like all the serums and stuff you know like is his heart just temp i don't know i don't know if he's dead probably he's probably dead who's this guy oh we don't care about that the agency okay cool uh we don't really care about places. Well, I don't care about places. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offence, but 
You're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. There must be another way. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover. But I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. God, Alfred listens Riddler to everything, said his friends know. abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get oh you close God. to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Awesome. Good thing you hit that tracking us. device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Can't even have a shower. It's um, so because we know who John is. So. Batman. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, it's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. He's guys like unsettling. Bruce Wayne. I see. Billy, tell Billy. Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah. Okay. It feels... No, really? He's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! <laughs> You're just a huge... Colossal, gigantic, spoiled pieces. <laughs> oh, uh, I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh. Go on. Finish what you were going to say. Say it to my face. You're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever happens to Bruce Wayne. And besides all dead pants. Yeah, I was going to say that too, John. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Lily. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Lily. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Yeah, getting them all riled up so they can be your goons. <clears throat> tracker. A tracker, Bruce? Really? Knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> I gotta that say, I'm me. disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. And you were my best chance. I'm apologizing I, to everyone. I should have just waited for me to get back to you. Like I said I would. Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. <laughs> All is forgiven. John calling us a stalker. Hilarious. So, that know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? 
You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? No. After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. Mm -hmm. What was I thinking? Well, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? I have no other option. It's odd. Doesn't seem like you. I was grieving. The timing was right. right. But yeah. I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. You have a later. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Are you gonna break my finger? Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? Yeah, no. Shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way. Mm. Thanks, Wayne. Can't expose my physical powers. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, handsome. Uh -huh. Have a drink before you go? You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the prize. I thought that Bruce. was Selena. Be careful. Sounded like her. Is getting flatty. Oh, cool. They're expecting you. Mm. Uh, Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. I think 
I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At it first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no. I, I think it's love. I'm happy for you, John. I am so happy. <laughs> I deserve the best. I'm so happy, I'd John. I'd blush if I could. Mm. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, mm. if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go. Oh, there she is. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley. Stay out of this pudding. Grown ups are talking. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Hmm. Her hair. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Well, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off. On the inside. Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Puddin said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. <laughs> excitement? The man who's got everything's looking for some new toys. Oh, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega. Can get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Is this all an act? Like, the whole thing? Like, the power play between Harley and Joker? Oh, John. He or just doesn't know who he is yet. You know? He's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? My friends. Kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old pudding. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you.
You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Wood. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? My friends. I Ain't that, that the gist of it? I never said that. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. It's okay, Bruce. I know it's hard to talk about feelings and stuff. I want you to know the feeling's mutual. I'm a little confused now. Like, I, I thought that this was an act. Do they know that I'm Batman? Oh, or? my God. That is the best damn slushy ever. That was quick, Harley. That was very quick. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. No thanks. Come on. No. Put your lips on it. No. No thanks, I'm good. Mm. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me. I <sighs> know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? Oh, I hear this thing opens half the, the security background. systems in Gotham. I think. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I said that you want? Either. Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that failing ski. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. or not because I assumed that it was all an act you know that he knows and I'm just I know he's crazy he knows I'm Batman but now after meeting Harley like she seems to be running the show but is that an act as well is what I'm confused about uh, Mr. Wayne uh, yeah if you could please sign in because if it's not I don't like that I don't like that Harley is the one you know and Joker's just so, um, the boyfriend. What brings I you in? Like that. If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? 
I don't have to explain myself. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. <laughs> I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir. Thanks. Phalanx key. Phalanx key. Phalanx key. Oh man. You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Did he die? He's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Okay, he's still alive. <sighs> Going up, Brucey. Stop. My Don't stop. worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Okay. <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Yeah. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. A dinger to now the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. I wonder there if I you spare go. That suit You're looking like your billion dollars. The office. Let me quickly put one on. <laughs> oh, um, Regina. <laughs> Oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. Don't hold this hand. These are. <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to. What are you doing here in this hour? Flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh, well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. Is this some kind of joke? If I don't agree, they'll probably Do I look funny to you. A bit. It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. Bye, Richard. Mm -hmm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, Johnny? You gotta learn to live in the moment. What's going on? I hope this is an act. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? I love Work it. your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up?
tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Uh, let me try to find Leighton Prince around here with my scanner. Ooh. Always thinking, this guy. It's not going anywhere unless I reconstruct Lucius's print. dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. I'm sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Mm. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> All right, that's a start. Herself. Hmm. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Okay, I think that's all here. Mm -hmm. should do it. Reports. You remember to clean out some of this junk. 
Hit Regina to do it. Not a single usable print. What do you think, so? Where did John go? Hmm. EMP generator. You're really holding us up. Okay, that, that's a pet peeve of mine with games. They just nag you and just hurry up, there we hurry go. up. Okay, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? What's over here? Not being able to open a door in your own building doesn't exactly inspire confidence. what I want when I want Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. Jump up. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? You gotta believe me, Tiffany. This is not what it looks like. Oh, really? A man who hates guns doesn't produce them in secret. I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. You're in much deeper than I thought. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to their guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey! Oh I God. know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Just act natural. Natural? Yes, natural. Acting normally. There's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means keep your mouth shut. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You get me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. I think you can have the key. Hatch. That would Just not... Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! Shut up. What is going on in there? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. I have. Now I need you to trust me. Please. It's a little too late for that. Oh my god. No. Ah! Ah! Tiffany! Boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. That's what you get for being honest from go, the fucking Harley. start. I don't Nothing. think I will. 
not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? What? Am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. If I say she's an employee, she might get all upset and shit. No family of mine. Oh, shut Oof. up. Gross. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <laughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab. I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think your old man's on the list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the names. I can't believe you associate with these, with these maniacs. These killers. Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Yeah, I can't now be you wanna be part up of the family. Charade don't you? anymore. I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, too bad. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. That don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Yeah, it must be an act. They, they wouldn't cut Joker's balls off like that. I mean, he's Joker. Sorry if that's a bit bold, but... Bruce! Are you alright? That's just me, I guess. I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... Unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just tell her. I've always well, regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. She shouldn't be left guessing. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. I think with I already have. regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout. And an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. Yeah. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. I mean, isn't it obvious that I'm under it's duress? Coming so fast. You know what I mean? One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. But why would yes. people just assume that, you know? Don't you Bruce, walk in with these armed people that are terrorizing everyone? I know we everyone. agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. But this whole adventure yeah. with John and Harley... I don't like well, it. frankly, it's exhausting. I agree, Alfred. It's not fun. Well, be careful and good luck. I'm 
Am I gonna get bitched again? Bad signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> 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 well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. You've been demoted. Waller busted me down to deputy ops. Everything's got to go through her office now. Maybe that's best, Jim. <sighs> the motion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Maybe instead of being focused on your position Here. and your authority, you can start doing it's your information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, a tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. I mean, that you know, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. I mean, look where I. Oh, hi, Walla. Can we just all be friends? Dismissed. Can we just, like, get along? This is Come still on. my goddamn station uh, house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right oh now. Oh, my God. Come you on. only remind me every other minute. Give it a rest. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch your tone, Batman. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. Everyone is on such a She's got some trip. kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? Yeah, a little bit. If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all I, you ever I have. I thought we were be. having That's a private all conversation. You to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that oh away, you should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you, Jim. That's actually really sweet. I don't really sweet. want to hear it. Aww. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Yeah. Make my job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. She's wanted a to see girl. Me, her hometown hero. Mm. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Her enthusiasm almost got her killed. It didn't, though. It's because part of the of job, you. you know. That's the part you need to focus on. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted so shut. So that was a best of behind us. Something. Then the pink the stakes car. are too high to leave anything to chance. I think. I'm pretty sure. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Yeah. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna wanna keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. 
When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. Okay. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. Right. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. Yeah, come on, let's get you Gordon in on this. Board. Don't tell me how to run my operation. I'm just offering These people just know my this bot. better than anyone. Yeah. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Like what? Like Batman. what? Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear shaped and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I'm guessing by your silence that Stoic. you don't believe me. When you're wrong, and it'll happen. You'll finally realize I'm just better at this than you are. Mm. It's like she's the Gordon, but on the other side, like she accepts my I'll do whatever I have to do attitude. Oh, I'm in. You know? Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. But at least now Jim knows that she's got something on me so he won't get upset if I call her instead of him. Right. Here we go. Oh wow, I didn't even recognize myself. from home, the end of the line. Mm. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change your mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and a failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John, turn it off! Turn it off! No! Can you do something about this? It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. I swear. If you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen oh. hell. Come on. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. What? They're all red. Oh, that one. Oh, shit. Okay, alright. Okay. Come on. All red? Oh, right, okay. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So green, green, red, green, okay. Ugh, 
I was just thinking, what? Alright. Red, green, green, red. Yep. Okay, am I doing it wrong or what's happening? It's fine. It's. It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? What have you done? You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. I swear, if you don't get that it electricity that back on immediately. Green. I'll send you oh, to wait. a frozen yeah. hell. Red. Green. Okay. Oh. Okay. Green. 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 So it does change. Okay. Good. Alright. Uh, green. Red. 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 No! Red. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. It's you may have impressed flat. these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Mm. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. It's fine, I'll crush you. Still yours. a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. Mm. was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. John reminds me of Ducky. Duck. From, um, The Walking Dead Season 1. Like his animations, his goofy smiles, and the way he moves. Reminds me of him. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. Okay. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you. After all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I haven't had it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, 
Well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. <sighs> I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. Okay. He's a man's man. Mm. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... Unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Fleece. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. How am I going to explain I know about her father? You know what I mean? I'll go talk to the others. See what I can do to change their minds. I've got faith in you, handsome. Sorry if I'm a little bit, you know, angry in this playthrough, but, you know, I'm not feeling the whole Joker, Harley dynamic, and I don't know, it's just a bit, yeah, hopefully it, you know. Spirit of unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? 
sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? Mm. What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Mm. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better. Why did you, how did you just come to that assumption all of a sudden? You know? Seemed like that was a bit abrupt. John's house. Let's go in here. Always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before at your office and making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help too. You didn't catch it? Look like Bane might kill you. I set off that EP, you know, as a distraction. Thanks, John. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing that I think he really respects. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it? Nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Well, I failed with Freeze. So I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. I'm going to get turned into an icicle. Prisco. Cheers. Now, Bane loves that beer. Oh. I bought some for when I need to talk to I should have seen John it's first. Scary. That's why Anybody I failed. Mark mm. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh, man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Mm. I think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense.
Rose, are you back? Can we have another talk? Can we do this again? No? Okay. shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. <laughs> what the hell do you want? I'm just looking. Want talking to it. Get out of here. You look thirsty. Please, come. I'm injured. Riddler. He bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, killed their friend. As Riddler's friend, oh, I have to know. know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. Yes. Men you can trust. So hard to find. Oh, God. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Faith. The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! Let them go. I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. You're Fine. not being very loyal, babe. Prove it! Oh, babe. going on the job we've been getting ready for it's happening good i'm ready not so fast the money bags you're not in the past not yet sure not till everyone votes what do you say boys bruce wayne yeah or out the aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands out Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart. Handsome. Well, it's, it's a trick. It's handsome. a tie. Nuts, you guys. Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. And Holly will vote well, in. Well, I vote for Brucey. Yeah, so, so we tie. got a tie here. Yeah. 
However, without Bruce, we can't use the EMP. Yes, I was in anyway. Bruce is in by a hair. You're hanging in there by a thread, Brucey boy. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go, get him with the hide! this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here. Dude, 
take care of this myself. For now, just move it while we're out. Uh, I don't wanna hurt ya, but I will blow your heads off if you make me. Eat concrete! Lights out! Put up that fire! Did well tonight, Wayne. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? He talks about loyalty, but he's not very loyal, is he? We need what to a get fucking Harley. hypocrite. Now! Impossible. She's dead or in jail. So we break her out! And if she's dead. Better hope she's not. We have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great. Let's go. We have to now. Right now. We don't have time to waste on her. What? What? That's enough. Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. <sighs> You'll regret this, Bane! <laughs> Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. Now, we finally have everything we need. Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path oh for the right price. You and 99.8% of players left Walla feeling content. When Walla explained she wasn't your enemy, she was satisfied that she had your attention. She disapproved of you calling Gordon instead of her, but because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Walla is positive. She was smart, 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 smart. You and 33.9% of players left Alfred feeling stressed. He didn't approve of your decision to protect Tiffany by lying to her. He 
was proud when you told him he always does the right thing. Your conversation in the parlour left him feeling burnt out. You and 39.8% of the players left John feeling sad. He was overjoyed when he think he swore. He was intrigued by the undefended way you handled Willie. But because you let Harley get left behind, he was heartbroken. Why, because I chose to fight Vane instead of her? Is that how I let her get away? Get left behind? You and 81.1% of players left Gordon feeling worried. Like, so this is not angry with me. He was surprised you called him to help him despite him on bad terms with each other. He was happy you apologised for your recent Because you told him the truth, he is worried that Laurel might expose your identity. You and 39.8% of players left Harley feeling angry. She was amused you played along with her mocking Regina. She was aggravated when you failed to manipulate She failed to manipulate you in the lab. But because you fought with Bane instead of her, she feels slighted. Oh, so it, it was to fight with them? I thought it was to kind of stop them from hurting people. That's why I picked Bane, because Bane can do more damage. I would think that Harley. Okay, whatever. You and 18.3% of play players left to manipulate the freak out. She was irked when you deflected her questions about the lab. She was outraged when you tried to force her to believe you. She may have helped her you may have helped her escape, but she doesn't trust your motives. Oh well. Did you get Tiffany to head over the fan? It was Bal Balax. Balance key. You and 49.9% of players didn't convince Tiffany that any of them. to the convoy. You and 57.3% of players attempted to minimise casualties by following Bane. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. Yeah, that was my reason for the course. Did you think he's square? Yeah, he yeah, was okay. okay, that was episode two. Um, honestly, I didn't really enjoy this episode. I didn't. I found it very frustrating. Like I understand that these games, they do have that. They have that frustration where everything goes wrong. Rah, rah. It's not that. That's not why I'm frustrated. I'm just, I mean, I have explained it throughout the episode. Like, I wanted to see Joker. You know what I mean? I feel like the way that telltale is going about the joker character is not it's not they're going a different route yeah i don't like it i don't find it interesting i don't find it compelling i i'm not i'm just not it's yeah not not having a really good time to be honest obviously i'll finish we'll finish um i'm sorry if my being a little bit not praising the game is off-putting to some people but I, I want this channel to be as authentic as I can you know um, I'm not going to put on some sort of face or smile or anything this is this is how I play games this these are my feelings these are my thoughts um, I, I hope that we can have, this could be a place for open discussion, res respectful, you know, sharing of opinions and feelings. Um, I mean, it's only episode two, you know, like I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm hopeful, you know. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I hope you guys 
enjoyed it at least um yeah so it's a little bit about the channel well, yeah okay <laughs> i've said everything i needed to say i'm just rambling now um so i guess uh we'll continue this on with episode three next um i'm going to play only one game at a time um, I don't like, I never do that. I never play more than one game at a time unless it's a main game like, say, this game and a side game like, you know, like a multiplayer, like Gears of War or something. That's different. Unless it's the story mode, you know. Um, yeah, one game at a time for this channel. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next episode, episode three. Um, yeah, so... Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.